is that you make your block four by three eighths and five by five eighths. You make your cover. And that is because uh, when we use, and I guess one of the things I forgot to show you is paper. So the inside of our books, we're gonna use the paper. And so the reason she likes that uh, measurement is because when we fold these and tear them, it's going to kind of, it's gonna be that shape. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than the four by three eighths and five by five eighths. And so that'll be perfect for our book. So she just suggests that for the first few books that you do because it's easier. Um, when you want to get a little bit bigger, you want to try something a little harder, then you can mess around with the different sizes. But starting out, definitely, until you really get the hang of it and you feel confident, um, definitely stick with the four by three eighths and five by five eighths. So we're going to do four by three eighths and five by five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. And here's another one of those parts where it's do what I say, not what I do. She very much suggests um, placing, you know, with a pen or something, placing a line so you get a really nice line. I am, you know, I, I you know me, I like to get it done real quick. I like to see what I made. And sometimes it burns me, sometimes it doesn't. I've had really good luck, but we know before being on camera, sometimes my luck doesn't last. So we're gonna see. But once you've got your four by three eighths and five by five eighths block, you're then going to cut. And she says, rather than one large cut, I see it moved, but that's why we can stop, reline it up again, and do a few cuts because it's not gonna go through immediately. Just a few cuts. All right, so now that, that that's our first, that's our first one. And this is not, this is, this is something that's me again too. Um, I've just found that putting it upright and then pushing it down has worked really well for me. Um, you know, definitely, definitely if you're beginning, follow the masters, <laughs> don't follow me. Um, but I just like to push down and it cuts it out. So there is our first cover. So now we're going to put our cap back on our cutter and put that aside. And so this is where the sander comes in because I don't know if you can kind of see this. It's a little rough around the edges. Um, so we're going to sand here. And she really suggests doing this outside, but I don't have much of a problem with it. So I'm going to sand it. And then you want to kind of get, and then you want to kind of get the corners just a little bit because they're going to be, they're going to be really sharp. So we're gonna get the corners just a tad. All right, and our and it looks good. All right, let's set that aside. Now we are ready. We are ready for our beautiful lemons. One of the things I really do is uh, have about half an inch around it, and that's gonna you're gonna and that's gonna you're gonna fold that over. So you want to kind of leave a half an inch. You don't have to be really specific here. Um, so this is where our rotary blade comes in. And as always, remember, it's really, really sharp. So when we're not using it, we've got it up. And then when we're ready to use it to pull it down. Because remember, if we are not careful, that will cut us. Safety first and all that. All right, so all done with the rotary blade, put it back up and we are ready. We're ready for the glue. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so we got our brush and we got our glue. So what I like to do is kind of do a zigzag motion. And I don't put a ton on in one place, but I do cover a large amount of the paper with these zigzags. And it's, and I said it was fast and it is a fast glue. 
um, but definitely don't like, you know, freak out, you know, make sure that it is really covered by the glue, like every corner. So then I'm just dabbing it to kind of move the glue everywhere. And I, you can kind of see it. And this way we've got a lot of coverage with the glue. And so I am just going to dab, make sure that I've got it on all the corners. This stuff is really sticky. Um, so if you're doing this on the table or another place um, that you know you don't want to be trying to pull this up later, I definitely suggest um, putting something underneath, whether it's saran wrap or another piece of paper or something. So then we can just take our cover and we just want to very carefully set it on top. And we want to push and kind of push out the edges. And then you wanna be really careful because you don't wanna touch the glue or your glue yourself and you wanna flip it over and make sure that there's no bubbles. If there is bubbles, that's when you can take the bone setter and then you just kind of like scrape the bubbles out. I've not really had much trouble with the bubbles. Um, so if you, but if you do, you can always push it down and then put it down like that. All right, so now our cover is glued, but now we need to do the sides. So one of the things we need to do is cut off at a diagonal here so that our corners are nice and crisp and we don't have any paper getting in the way. So you wanna leave about a fourth of an inch, just kinda like that. You wanna leave a fourth of an inch around each side. Once again, um, you don't have to be super exact with this. All right, and so we're gonna remove the paper. Get that out of the way. Gotta close our rotary blade. All right, and so then in this part, I like to use my scissors, but this time, because my scissors are out of the way, um, you want to cut in, close our rotary blade again. I wanna make sure you see this. Um, the corner right here, what we wanna do is cut in. Um, so we're gonna be doing it this way and I'll show you what it looks like after we've cut in. So as you can kind of see here, we've kind of cut in and what we're gonna do is fold, we're gonna use this to fold in so that our corners are nice and crisp. We don't have any paper getting in the way when we do our corners. We're gonna do that on all four sides. I want the rotary blade. So then most likely your glue has dried a little bit. So what we wanna do is put a little bit more glue on the corners. Once again, you know, in each spot, it doesn't have to be a lot, just a dab. And then take your brush and once again, just kind of spread it around. All right, so then that little corner, that little corner flap there, you want to curve it in, so it's like that. And then I like to help it over a little bit, but then you wanna take this bone setter and you want to pull it through. And like I said, I like to kind of help it over, make sure that it's a nice clean line. And then you're gonna scrape the bone set tool over it to get those, those bubbles out to make a nice, crisp, straight, smooth line. You see that? Looks nice, right? And then, so I like to just run, just like to run this across and make sure it's a nice line. When we're done with this again, we're gonna go over it. So show that to you again. So then you just, you can go and do the other side directly across if you want, or you can go around. It's just up to you. Um, I like to go around just because I end up forgetting. So then once again, just dab, 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 dab. Okay. And once again, these videos are on our new database, Creative Bug. Make sure you check it out.
And I think we will definitely have to do a class once the library reopens, which I am looking forward to seeing all of you guys again. I cannot wait for that day. So once again, pull it over, take your bone, scrape it out so it's nice and smooth. You know, pull it over, make sure it's nice and tight. And then scrape. Make sure you've got those nice, clean, straight lines. Got this nice, we got another nice line, and then I like to just run this over it so that it's just nice. I hope you see that nice and smooth. All right, so we're gonna keep doing this. Um, As you can see, we've got all four of our corners. If we flip it over, that is our cover. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, so the last thing we wanna do is we've got these corners and we just wanna make sure I get a good angle for you guys. We just wanna give it a tap. And that's just cause the corners are kind of sharp. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of a tap. So our corners, so our cover is now ready. We need to give it some time to really adhere. All right, so what you wanna do is figure out where your top is and your bottom are gonna be. So I like how this looks like this, and this is actually going to be um, my back cover, but either way, um, I like how this looks like this. So what I'm gonna do, since it's gonna be the back, is I'm gonna do it over here. So this is where it gets into the sewing. We need to make our holes, which is how we're going to bind. And so this is where that piece of paper I made comes in. Now it's recommended that your holes are an inch in on both sides. And as you get bigger, you can do more than two. Uh, you can do four, but I'll explain that in a moment. So I don't know if you can really see it here, but this piece of paper has some creases where the holes are supposed to go. And so what I like to do is line it up. And once again, it's one of those things that the holes don't have to be exactly um, one inch. It's more important that you know, this is, uh, the first hole is about a fourth of an inch to a half an inch from the edge. And then the other is about a half an inch. And this is where we are gonna also use our owl. And this is, I highly recommend getting one of the kits off Amazon because it just makes life so much easier. But you could probably definitely do this with like a sturdy needle. Um, whatever you got around the house, you know? All right, so what I'm gonna do my little crease is right there. So then, and you just push it. Make sure you see this, you just push it down. And it's not gonna go all the way through the first time. That's okay. I like to make sure that it is lined up. We're gonna push in. And then once again, we're gonna, we're gonna come back, make sure it's a little bit more lined up, make sure they're lined up, and then punch our hole. All right, we've got our holes. Punch our holes in. If you've got a piece of wood or something under it, you can punch all the way through. Um, but I just have my mat underneath me and I, you know, I don't want to punch all the way through. So I like to then, I see the holes. So what I like to then do is find the hole and then just kind of help it through. And you can just do, go slow and steady because you don't want to rip the cardboard. And then once it's a good ways through, you just pull it out. All 
All right, so we have, I don't know if you can see them here. We have our four holes. You can see those two holes. And we've got our four holes. Awesome. So we're done with our owl. And you would do, and you would do the same thing on your back cover. So then we're gonna take those needles and you get uh, four sets of needles when you get one of the kits. Uh, but you can use any type of needle because even if the needle is a little too small, you know, you just kind of do what you do with the L, which is just kind of like, you know, push it in, uh, make the hole a little wider. You can definitely do this with some of the things lying around in the house. All right, so the next one, a little hard to explain. I want to make sure that we you really understand um you're gonna you're gonna go from this side you're gonna go from the side of the bookboard and you're gonna go diagonally and you're gonna try to get into this first hole here definitely go slow definitely be you know really um try your hardest to get it uh because if it if it breaks it's not a huge deal but you know you want to try not to obviously so you want to go from the side, kind of starting from the bottom, and just take your needle and push in. And your needle will hopefully, oh, mine came up a little high. So take it in and see it comes out right in that hole. Can you guys see that? Yep, that's what we want. And so that's the hole we need. So we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. We did it again. Never had that problem. There we go. Second time's the time. All right, so that is probably, I'd have to say like the hardest part of the entire book binding. Um, so yay, we got through the hardest part. Don't put those needles away, you're gonna need them um, because now we are gonna get to the sewing portion. So our cover is ready. You would normally do it on the other side as well. Uh, so make sure you take that into account and then we are ready for our thread so now what they suggest is a week span I call it a wingspan an arm span of thread you're gonna do two arm spans so I can't show you me doing an arm span but I am stretching my arms to the side taking that much yarn out it is definitely gonna feel like too much yarn but let me tell you it's definitely not and so then you can take your rotary blade or your pair of scissors and cut your thread. Let's move this owl out of the way. All right, so then it's gonna be one thread. You're gonna take both ends of your thread and you're gonna put an, a needle on both ends. It's gonna feel like you're knitting. So then, Got your two needles. This one, see the nice thing about the wax thread, the one reason I really love it is because of if it, it's really easy to put through the hole because you don't have those threads going everywhere. Really nice and easy. So, all right, so then we are going, we're gonna need our paper now. So I've got some awesome resume paper, uh, but computer paper, any type of paper really works. If you're gonna work with the thicker papers, um, definitely use uh, your bone tool a lot more. Uh, you definitely want might use the point to make a crease to help it fold. Uh, there's all kinds of options that you can do to help, to help the paper fold. Um, but for this book, we're going to make sure that our paper is lined up. There's two papers here. You can do it one by one. I'm going to do two. And we're going to take our bone tool and we're going to use it to make a nice crisp one. All right, and then open it up and then we're actually just going to tear to give it that nice torn edge that looks really pretty. So then you have four sheets 
you have four sheets here. You see that you have four sheets. Line them up, and then you're gonna fold one more time. And we're gonna use the bone tool once again. And this is one section. So you're gonna need 10 sections. It's gonna take a total of 20 pages if you were doing the eight by five by 11s. Um, and it will take 10 of these, it will take 20 pages. Um, if you're doing a thicker paper, you may need less. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but the 10 does really look pretty. Uh, so then these are our books. So normally we would make 10 of these, um, but we're gonna skip that today and just make one. So this next portion, we're gonna need our owl again because we are going to make a hole. So we're unfolding it again. We still got the crease. We're then gonna take that piece of paper we made and we're going to put it in here. So then we're gonna take our owl and right where we made the holes on the paper, we're gonna make them again. And once again, it might not go all the way through. That's perfectly fine. I just kind of use it as a way to gauge where they should go. And then once again, I like to push through. And obviously it goes very, it goes a lot easier through this type of paper. Push that in. All right, and so then you have two of your holes. So this is what we, when we're doing the sewing, binding the book together, uh, this is where you're gonna go through. So we're gonna put our all over here. So now with our first booklet, we are going to take that thread that we put you know, our needle on and we're gonna put a needle into each hole. Okay. Might get this thread over here again. Thread. You will have thread thread everywhere. Definitely. It will definitely be hard. Definitely check because you will probably many times take the wrong thread when you're putting them through the holes. And then you're going to take both of them together and pull it through so that you kind of get it toward the middle. You can always check this, make sure that it's correct. And so you will see this you'll see this here this uh, thread in the middle so that is the start of the sewing so now i'm gonna make sure this lines up so now is when we are going to incorporate the cover that we made so now what you're going to do to start it out right here, what you're going to do is take the needle. You got to find, you know, if your threads are everywhere, you got to find the correct needle, make sure you get the correct one. And you're going to put it through that side hole that we made. So make sure it comes through and you're going to push the needle through. And then I like in this section, you're gonna need to do that wiggle and kind of help it come out. Um, you know, sometimes it'll be a little hard. They suggest kind of using um, those cloths that you use to help cans that are having a hard time come through. But it tend, but after a while, it does tend to come back through. And then you just pull it through. And we are going to do the same on the other side as well. All right, so then we're going to pull the thread through. A little bit 
twisted here. So we're going to pull and straighten it out and then pull it through. All right. So then when you pull it tight, you're going to want to make sure that the paper is lined up correctly. And then you want to pull it a little tight. You don't want to pull, you don't want to pull too tight that you rip the paper, um, but you can still pull firmly. So then as you can see, we are in the first hole that we made here. We're in that first hole. We are now going to go to that second hole that we made. And we're going to push it through. Now you'll notice when you look on this side, you'll see it's coming through. So you're going to pull it through. And then I like to go through, and then you're going to go through this hole. I like to go ahead and go through. Some people like to go and start the next one, um, but go through this hole here. And you want to make sure you don't go through the thread. So we're coming back through. And as you can see, we've got the thread going through here. We're coming back through that, that hole and we're going to pull through. And then we're going to do that same thing one more time. All right. So this side is done. We are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. All right, so then you want to make sure once it's both through, it's tight. And so we're going to go back to that diagonal hole because we're now done with cover. So then you're going to put it back into this hole. And if it's having a little trouble, you can go from the diagonal hole here and kind of push your way through to give it some help. Sometimes, sometimes it's a little too full. Once you've got a couple of threads going through there. All right, and we're gonna push that through. And this one will probably need a little help you're probably going to need that can the special cloth to open a difficult can and I like to pull it through and if you if you accidentally rip it's not a huge deal um, still fix that and you go through and pull the thread through all right and then that side is ready to start attaching the other papers so now we're going to do the other one real quick. Alrighty. And then one thing they like to do, as you can kind of see, um, the edges here are kind of pushing up. We like to push them down. You can wait until the end to do this, but you don't have to. Okay, so that cover is all set. I'm ready to start doing the paper. So now we are going to do into this paper what we're going to do into the other papers. We already have uh, some thread in there, but we want to add some more. So we're going to go back in. You're going to go back through those holes you made into the set of paper. You can see it's in there. And you're going to pull it through. And you're going to do the same 
with the other side. Thing. All right, and then you are going to take this string, and once again, my strings are all getting together, so I gotta find the right needle. I'm gonna go to, across to the other one. And we're gonna pull that through, and we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So this one that came out of here, we're now going to send it through this hole. And we're going to do that with every set. And we normally have about 10 of them. All right. So now oh, the other thing to make sure that it lies flat, you can take your bone set and kind of press down here. And it just makes that a little bit firmer. It'll make it so it doesn't pop up as much. Um, it's just kind of clean and smooth. All right. So normally, uh, once we had uh, three more papers on, I would show you how to do uh, the loop. But instead of putting all 10 of the papers on, because it does take a bit of time, save you guys a bit of time, I made one. Uh, I put seven on here so I can show you guys. Or I should say eight. So this one we have put, so this is another book I started. Um, and as you can see, we've got eight of the booklets, eight of the 10 booklets on. And so I wanted to show you guys uh, like how it looks in the end so that you guys know how to put the last cover off on and finish the book. So I also wanna point out here, you can see these kind of like sewn loops. I want the thing to focus. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make those loops and you normally, like I said, would start after you put your third uh, paper on. And if you want more uh, direction on how to do that, definitely once again, check out the creative bug um, video. So then we're going to put on the ninth booklet. And just like the last time, we're going to go into the hole. I'm going to the hole, we're going to pull it through. On both sides. And then we're going to cross it over. So the needle that came in the other side, we're going to make it go out on this side. Move it on me. All right, and then so we're gonna make this one go out over here. And when you're putting on the other booklets, what you wanna do um, is really make sure it lines up. And you see how I've kind of got this extra string over here? You wanna pull it tight. Make sure that it's really pulling tight so that it stays nice and firm. And here I wanna show you that sewing thing I was telling you about. So when you get, when you get three of these on, you're going to have three of these spaces in between one two three you want to go into the third space and so from the inside out you're going to take your needle one two three you're going to go in between the two booklets and you're going to pull up and it just makes that really nice kind of sewn look and you're going to you're going to do the same thing over here Going inside out, one, two, three, put it through. I feel like we always have to have at least one technical difficulty, right? Just one. All right. And so we crisscrossed, as you can see, and pull it nice and tight, make sure it's lined up. And then from the inside to the out, one, two, three, just like we did before. I'm gonna show that to you. 
pull it through. This one got a little bit of a tail that I'm gonna help through. And just pull it tight. Same on the other side. One, two, three. Pull it through. All right. So now, almost ready. So now we're going to use our other cover. And this is that cover we made earlier, you guys. So now, normally we would put the holes together, but I wanted to give this one time to dry because normally I would, you know, I would normally wait. Or no, not normally wait, that's not right. Normally I would have time uh, to make the papers and stuff like that. So it would give it plenty of time to dry. But since, you know, we wanted to save time because this, you know, making a book, I would say takes about, you know, an hour and a half to two hours. You know, it takes it takes some time. Make the holes. And get a good angle with this thing. Oh. oh. I'm actually going to take this off for just a second. Like I said, normally this would already be done. That's okay. Actually felt that side give a little but that's okay mistakes are all right nice thing about crafts is you don't have to be perfect all right so just like we did the other side we're gonna finish this up do both of the sides again. Oof, having a little hard time finding that hole. Goodness. Too much thread in it, I guess. Sometimes it just does not want to come through. There we go. All right, and we will pull that tighter in a minute. Put that through this hole now. through one more time. Alrighty, so we're just about done, you guys. We're so close. All right, and as you can see, this top is a little loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it through. Pull it a little tighter. So 
so that it's nice and tight. It needs to be a little bit more tighter on here. So now I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to help it be a little tighter. And then we're going to do exactly what we did the other time. We're going to go back through this hole. And this is, this is going to make it so, you know, you don't know 100% where it ends. So, you know, it's not going to be obvious. It's going to look really nice. Just about done, you guys. All right. Still not 100% done. Just a moment. Normally, this thread would be longer. I have a feeling it got too short. This is why you want it really long. You don't think you need it that long and then you do this and it's like, yeah, it does take a lot of thread. So then just like we did before, count that space, one, two, three, put it in the middle and you see it's coming out the center here, pull it through. Oh, darn, I thought it wasn't in that space, but it is. Sometimes it gets in the middle of the booklets. You just gotta be careful of that. If it does, just pull it back out. Not a big deal. And so since this is so short, not supposed to be this short, kind of help it through. I'm gonna put the needle in first and then we are going to do, if I put the needle in the right way, the needle in first. All right. Always something that happens on camera, right? Always something. Oh, now it wants to be difficult. No! All right, ladies and gents, to save some time, because we might be here for a little while, you're gonna loop it just like you did and then put it back into one of the one of the booklets. I'm gonna show you on the other book because that one is just being difficult. So on this other book that I made and I finished, um, once we've done that last corner and we've gone around, you're then going to push into the last thing of paper and you're going to make two knots. And the nice thing about the wax is the knot stays and will not move, will not come unknotted. But you want to leave a tail just so it doesn't come unraveled, just in case. Um, but that makes your book. This is going to be.